So I got a nice video for y'all today. Seem like the 2K devs are out there answering some questions. And you know I got to keep you all up to date. And it seems like also you have a few problems that's been occurring since the most recent patch, which we all expect. So without further ado, grab yourself a brew and let's get to the video. You want 2K rumors and news? You in the right place. Want a community that's cool? You in the right space. You want tips? Subscribe now and ring the bell. Then go to the park and give them hell. The Boot Squad is an organization with all winners. Soldiers up in formation. We all killers. And when you step on the court, yo, you're our dinner. When I play D in the fourth, yo, Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. So you're done now. Your boy Brutal Sim on the scene, wicked and mean with a next video for y'all, man. So y'all know what it is by now. Take some time out, bless up your boy, like on the video. Definitely help the channel out, like, because you know your boy's gonna always put y'all up on game and keep y'all up to date on everything in the 2K community. You know we gotta start the video off the right way by giving a huge shout out to the Brew Squad. Anyone y'all got their notification bell on now? Come through the comment section and type first, second, third, no digging on Brew Squad. Gotta put you all up there just to show you all some love, you all much love, much respect. So we're not gonna beat around the bush, we're getting straight to the info. Jane Gang tweeted this at Mike Wing. Said, what about the shot meter that magically developed a delay and subsequent extra speed yesterday? No matter what cue or release I use, my shot meter as of yesterday is completely unusable. Any word if this will be fixed or did y'all intend to nerf the shot meter? Now I want to make a request before Mike Wayne respond to this. Mike Wayne, we need you to bring back giving us the ability to see people use a shot meter. You got a lot of people out there with a the Titan 2. And you got a lot of people with the Zens. And they are cheating. And I want to be able to call them out. I played against a few people yesterday. And they were agreeing everything. I ain't on front. It's kind of easy to shoot. Or oh, they got a Titan 2. Or oh, they got a Zen. And a lot of cheaters just going. Just running a rampage in the 2K community right now. And y'all help them out with hiding the shot meter from your opponents. I'm just putting this out there. So unless you're a streamer or some kind of content creator, we can't tell if someone is cheating or not because of y'all. But anyways, let's continue. He said the shot meter change was in unintentional and will be fixed tomorrow. Sorry for the inconvenience. How about the inconvenience you gave to us, Mike Wayne? How about that? Now anyways, Ryan Thomas tweeted this out. He said, I know you still see these dunk meter problems. God, Spud Webb stop MJ in the paint with Hall of Fame precision. Dunker, yeah, it's bad. It's bad out there. And this is the issue when I have people complaining to 2K. Okay, sometimes they don't know how far to go when it comes to balancing off certain things. Remember, a lot of people last year was complaining about dunkers. Oh, the rimmers, the rimmers. Oh, people with this, with the dunk meter. Guess what 2K did in 2K24? The dunk meter trash. It's pretty much out of the game. If you use it, bro, you just using it just because. Cause you know the odds of you having a successful dunk with a dunk meter is probably like around 10% or so. No matter who is below the rim, it could be a guard. You know a lot of these guards out there with no interior defense is still stopping bills that was purely built for dunking. I'm talking about people out there with a 25 interior. You probably can't have 25, but let's say a 30 or 30 something interior versus someone with a 92 dunk and the bar goes from very big if you wide open to a hair follicle. Once that person is below the rim, no matter who he is, it's ridiculous at this point, but that's what's happened when, when people in the 2K community just complain and don't understand the 2K goes the extreme with everything. But anyways, so yes, we're working on improving the dunk meter logic, but it will take time. Last thing we want is OP meter dunks throwing off game balance. Duncan is out of the game, but I am still rim running since rim running, been rim running. And I got a tutorial dropping for y'all soon with the best dunk packages. I figured it out. But I will tell y'all something. Don't expect Brute to drop a tutorial this time to help y'all with the dunk meter when it comes to slashing. It's just pure trash. But I could help y'all get to the rim and hang on that more. <laughs> now, oh hell, short. 
tweet this out. He said, physical handles and guard up still not progressing for me. And of course, he tagged Zach Timmon and Zach Timmon responded and said, yeah, I'm looking at those. Guard up is insanely rare in PvP games. Probably the rarest batch to occur. Both will be tuned. Thanks. Okay, so changes will be coming to those badges. And some guy called Brother Sam tweeted this out. And I ain't gonna lie, he's always flossing with this goat, goat face, goat face, whatever, man. I'm tired of him seeing this LeBron face all over Twitter. And he posts this tweet saying, I don't know if this is by design, but I can't use my custom shoes in the rec center. Can you fix or allow us to use in the rec center? And then he tagged Mike Wayne, he tagged Zach Timmon and tagged Wolf as well. So Zach Timmon then responded and said, I generally regret commenting on things I don't work on for fear of providing false info, but based on what I'm seeing or hearing, this looks to be fixed in an upcoming patch and I need that. I ain't on front with y'all. Y'all know your boy ball out on a budget, man. And I got a few custom shoes right now and I need to use because Lord knows 2K already get out money out of me because I already bought one shoe because I'm just tired of running out there in 2K because 2K is a clear sign that you shouldn't be out there running with anybody for real you should spend some time in my career until you unlock those shoes because a lot of people i see out there in the random wreck should not be mixing with people i'm just being a hundred i'm sorry someone have to say a lot of y'all out there i'm seeing in the wreck because your boy out there with the center bill out there in the wreck should not be running with people y'all deserve a my career environment go out there where y'all don't have to pass and score 90. you could do that there's a place for that it's called my career stop stressing other people out that paid money for this game and want to play a good team game okay sorry man i had to get that rant off my chest i had to it's tough out there Oh, y'all been requesting solo wreck like it's gonna make something better. I got a next rant coming out for y'all, man. I ain't gonna front, but I need a whole video for that one. That solo wreck request that I warn y'all about is the worst place possible unless you got my center bill. But we're gonna get into that rant soon. Your boy been warning y'all for a minute. Y'all act like Brute don't know what he's talking about. Now, solo wreck is a pure, it's just pure chaos. But let's continue on. Puffin! Tweet this out, and I know if it's puffing, I probably just butcher your name. My bad, my G. You know your boy brute running around with a machete for names. He said, You can't progress for a set of badges, and he put all caps, so you know he mad. <laughs> he said, I thought it was a floor setter, not a progression lock. And he tagged LD, Mike Wayne, and Zach Tim and said, Please fix this is a crazy addition. What I understand, he's saying, if he could use go set on a hall of fame badge you wouldn't limit it to hall of fame he could still level up right so i got damn all these dissected but anyways like timon then responded and said if your badge had the potential to reach hall of fame and you've met the attribute requirements putting a floor setter on it won't stop it from progressing to hall of fame if both of these are true for you and you're not progressing this would be the first i've heard of this so basically he's saying he never heard of that happening before and this shouldn't be an issue so that's your problem deal with it <laughs> sometimes we act like we could just cry for something to adjust and they could just go like you know those old school radios and just slightly turn the knob and tune it to perfection it seems like this is not the case and we have to understand that in the 2k community so sometimes when you see something is pretty decent but not a problem that big of a problem not because you get dunked on you go crying to your mama mommy i can't do oh we're not gonna bring out crying brute i can't afford him not yet <laughs> not yet <laughs> ah. but yeah man it seems like it's not that easy to tune things as we would like to be honest with y'all and history have shown that so be careful what you ask for that's all your boys say now everybody in the 2k community is saying oh they might have went too far with the dunk patch yes they did they did they did but i'm still hanging on that rim <laughs> but anyways man let me know what y'all think y'all know what is your boys your first time to the channel like share subscribe how blessed one until next time be safe out there y'all peace